Hi guys, welcome. Mike Newton here in the Swing Studio at Barra Golf Club. We've got a little head-to-head -to -head today with a brand new Ping Eye Blade that's just been released. I've just done a review of this iron on its own on my channel, so you can go and check that out. I'm going to do it against the uh, the, the the E1 I Series iron from Ping, which has been out uh, for about six months or so now. Um, but two, two different golf clubs here. Both of them are aimed at the sort of mid to low handicap players that Ping are offering. Obviously the, the E1 iron is a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more of a, an undercut back there, slightly thicker top edge. Um, the eye blade, as I say, brand new out on the market, literally just been launched, a lot slimmer. It's a replacement to the S55 iron here, so a bit more probably your, your, your sort of low handicap, somebody who really centralizes strike quite consistently. Fantastic looking club. Having said that, that is also a good looking golf club. Again, I've done a review on that on my channel. You can go and check that out. Um, I'm just going to do them head to head here. Two different clubs here. Be interested to see maybe the results. I've got a feeling maybe what's going to happen. Maybe the E1's going to be a little bit more stronger on distance because I feel the eye blade is what Ping are saying is, is more of a traditional golf club. The lofts aren't strong by any means, more traditional lofts. So it's more of a a look, a quality iron to give you some consistent numbers. But it'd be just interesting to see what they are like head to head. Maybe you guys are just something in iron between these two irons. This might just help you to sort of uh, choose between them. Okay, so we'll start with the eye blade first. I'm gonna hit a few shots on, on GC2 HMTs, get some real ball data. Um, I've got, we're gonna use the same shaft. So as soon as I've hit this, I'm, I'm hitting a shaft that I use in my current set, which is the Modus 3 shaft uh, which is available in the ping fitting option i'm going to hit it with that in, uh, in the eye blade and then switch it over into the uh, e1 iron and we'll so we've got exactly the same shaft so we'll hit a few batch of this Okay, so that's four shots hit with the eye blade. I'm just going to switch the shafts over into the E1 eye and we'll hit four shots with them and we'll have a look at some numbers. Okay, guys. So that's secured on. So, same shaft modus in the E1 eye series iron now. Same iron, seven iron. Blue spot again, same as the eye blade, same shaft. Let's give this a little hit and see how this compares. Okay. Slightly bigger appearance behind the ball here. Struck that really well. Okay guys, so there's four shots with each iron. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to have a quick look at the numbers, have a little compare, just see which one is performing maybe better or worse, or whether that is you know, more suited to what you're looking for out of an iron. Okay, so number of times here. Um, as you can see, the white flight is the I blade iron. Uh, the red flight is the E1 I series iron. Um, so you can probably just see there, there's a slightly lower ball flights with the I series iron against the blade. Um, just looking at the lofts on, online, obviously the uh, the I blade is 34 degree 7 iron loft, which is very sort of traditional loft. The I iron is 32, so it's two degrees stronger. So obviously we're going to see that little bit of difference possibly on launch and uh, spin maybe on, on these, but let's have a little look at uh, some numbers here. So you can see, um, I actually swung the I 
your series iron a little bit quicker there, I'm not sure why. Maybe it was a slightly larger appearance behind the golf, golf ball, so maybe that just made me feel a little bit more confident on trying to, you know, just let myself go a little bit. I wasn't trying to swing any hard or anything, so obviously you can see a little increase on uh, on, on ball speed there. Launch, as we say, was a little bit lower there. There was one uh, came out a touch lower in there. Um, spin's actually gone up a little bit, but that's maybe more to do with strike there. I didn't quite sort of middle the the um, the I series iron maybe as good it, or it didn't feel like I did anyway the the blade iron felt beautiful I must admit I think out of the two there looking at in terms of feel the, the blade iron I would choose all day long as well as looks I mean it just sits beautiful behind the golf ball and the finish on it um, but you can see there a little bit of difference on distance but not a great deal there um, interesting series so it's, there's not a great deal in it obviously probably the difference is there is literally just the two degrees of loft um, difference between the two with the E1 iron being slightly stronger. Okay, so there we have it. Um, the, the new eye blade against the um, the I series iron there. So as you can probably see there, it's not a great deal in it. They're both aimed at a um, nearly dropped that then. Both aimed at a more better player, also the mid to low handicap. Obviously the G series in terms of the G iron and the G max are more aimed at the sort of mid to high handicap at ultimate forgiveness. Um, but even between these two, there is some different markets here, of people, what people are looking for. Obviously, the II in there is providing a little bit slightly larger profile behind the ball. Obviously, more for giving that undercut, slightly thicker top line. I think this is going to attract a lot of golfers to ping. You know, I think there's definitely golfers out there wanting that neat uh, classic look, which ping sort of never really done well, I would say, in the, in the past. But they've done it fantastically well here with the eye blade iron. But as always, you know, you need to go and get fit. Test these yourself. Different shaft options available through Custom Fit. Go and test them yourself at a, your local ping fitting centre. We've got the options here to do that here at Barrow Golf Club. Great. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please share around and please subscribe as well.